Good morning, woman of God. Welcome. It is day seven of our seven days of fasting. And I give God all the praise. Jesus. Mm. Mm. I give him all the honor. My God. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Portland, Jamaica, Old Church, Ben, Jamaica. Sister Denise Gray, welcome. Hallelujah. New Jersey, good morning. Virginia Beach, good morning. Today is the last and final day of the fasting i pray that you push today hallelujah i pray that today you will push and when i say push i mean to give birth you know since i gave my life to the lord this has been the most challenging fasting since i came to jesus christ mm -hmm. since the day i gave my life to jesus christ this one is not a slice of cake i love cake and this is not an easy nut to crack Sister Pauline, welcome. Hallelujah. We have set a date, but we're going to make a flyer the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th of May. Hallelujah. So for those of you who are near and far, May 26th, Friday, May 26th, Saturday, May 27th, and Sunday, May 28th. Those are the three days of revival that we will have, which includes all the activities that we have mentioned for El Shaddai. In Old Arbor Bay, St. Catherine, Jamaica. To be exact, a place called Bodo. Amen? Hallelujah. Sister Valdin, I know you won't get lost because you've been there. Yeah, you've been there. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we declare it is well. Hallelujah. We thank God for this fasting. Sister Petronia Bailey out there in Brooklyn. I pray God bless you financially so you can come and join us because it's your territory. Uh-huh. 
Glory to God. I just saw the message about your brother, but we're just going to leave him in the hands of God, whatever the story is. Amen. We're just going to leave your brother in the hands of our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, O God, our daily bread. And forgive us for the things that we did that was wrong. This fasting is not easy. This morning I repent. Yes. The devil come after me. <laughs> devil came after me, so I ask God to forgive me. It's fasting. We have to repent when we mess up. So raise your hand this morning and ask God. Some of you, you have said some things that you were not supposed to say. Some of you have done some things that you were not supposed to do. Some of you have gone to some place that you were not even supposed to go. Because of the fasting. Amen. So I encourage you. To let us set the record straight. The devil came in my dreams. Hallelujah. He will find different ways to attack you. So I encourage you. Be still and let God continue to be God in your life. The song says, Be still and know that I am God. Be still. No. You got it wrong, woman of God. Be still and know. It's, let me go back. Da -da. Friday the 26th. Saturday the 27th. And Sunday the 28th of May. It starts Friday. In May. Mm-hmm. Friday the 26th of May, Saturday the 27th of May, Let me go back. and uh, Sunday is the last day of our um, program. Amen. But we will have a nice flyer to advertise the devil came at me in a dream. And I got up and I was talking to Brother Devon about it. And before you know it, you know, my flesh took over. So we just give God praise because we are here. So we ask God for forgiveness. That is the only thing we can do. Repent and start afresh. Mm -hmm. None of us, we are, we are human beings. Amen. Yes, 26, 27. It don't start Thursday. It start Friday. 26, 27, 28. And uh, for those of you that won't be able to make it, we are asking you to contribute. Amen. Send your building fund. And money so we can have victuals. Money for food so we can have something to eat. There is no time when you're hungry like when you're in church. And you finish service after service <laughs> because you use up all that energy while you're in church so i know a lot of people won't be able to make it i'm gonna say it straight right here it's gonna be in may and it's the beginning of spring where people are changing jobs people are falling in love people are traveling overseas to get this and that taken care of but we will be praying for you amen glory to god I ask God for forgiveness, you know, because of a dream that I had and I act out on the dream while I was talking about it. So he is listening. Amen. He is listening. My dream a man was keeping company. Was keeping many people hostage and I escaped 
and he fired a gun at me but it didn't touch me you're covered in the blood i cover you right now in the blood of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet i cover you i cover you in the blood of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet that no weapon that show up against you would prosper and every tongue that the enemy sent after you we condemn it so it go back down into the pit of hell where it belongs glory to god and every dream that is not of god we nullify it right now you see sometimes god is trying to show us things about our life in dreams it's many times the thing already happened and many times it's things to come so we pray that every negativity in the air will be cancelled right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every negativity, every ill-spoken word that was released over our life, we nullify it right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. You see, the devil have his way. And believe me, you know, <laughs> I must confess that it is the plan of the enemy to destroy us. And that is written in the Bible. And the devil is doing everything he can to prevent you from going ahead. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to be vigilant. You're going to have to be faithful to God. Amen. It is the plan of the enemy to destroy you, to sift you like wheat. So you don't receive, so your blessing will be on hold. Jesus. It is the plan of the enemy. Ha, 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 ha. Hey! Glory to God. It is the plan of the enemy to give us hard times. But I want you to know there are some things that you won't even have the opportunity to pray over. No, you won't have time. And God Almighty himself will have to intercede for you. Amen. Hallelujah. There are some bakoreko sataya. I pray for you right now. Jesus, I cover you in the blood. Mm. I cover you right now in the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Let us pray, people of God. There are some things that the angel of the Lord will show you. Why? You don't have no control over it and God Almighty himself have to step in and intercede for you. Today is Saturday, the 21st of January, or January 21st, 2023, and it's day seven of our fasting. Seven of seven, it's seven days of seven day fasting our fasting ends at midnight tonight after midnight you can eat those things amen but our fasting ends today on social media <laughs> on social media our fasting ends today i encourage you to share this message let us enter into prayer let us enter into satire.
let us enter into a moment of prayer amen in everything we have to start with prayer it doesn't matter even if you're going to work when you get to work if there's no one to pray with you pray before you enter the building Pray before you enter the work site. Pray before you enter your workstation. Cover yourself in the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you get out of bed. Don't grab the phone. And see who call you. It's a habit that we develop over time. Over a period of time. Thank God for opening your eyes. Jesus. Thank God for allowing you to be walking on top of your grave thank god for allowing you to be in the land of the living when you open your baroko satire when you you acknowledge that you are alive you acknowledge that it's a new day you acknowledge that there's nothing wrong with you and you can get out of the bed thank god let us thank him you acknowledge that you can still speak you acknowledge that even though the enemy came after you while you were in your sleep, God raised up a standard against him. So you are still here in your right mind. You are still in your right mind. Let us thank God that we were able to be here just to fellowship, just to give him glory, give him honor, give him praise, give him thanks for what he has done for us. The fact that we are able to be here Many of you are watching while you're in bed. Many of you are at work. Let us thank God. It is, an, it is the end of the week. It is Saturday. But we are here to pray. To praise Him. Many people just wake up in a hotel. With somebody else's spouse. Overdose. Many people are homeless. Let us thank God. Don't worry about what you don't have. Thank him for what you have. Thank him for what he gave you. Thank him for what he allowed you to see. Thank him for the people that he placed in your life to push you to the next level. No, the word no, N-O, is a very powerful word. And sometimes we have to thank God when he says no. When no become the answer to our prayers. Thank him. It's powerful. Hey. Father, we thank you. That you told us no. Don't do it. You told us no. Don't go there. You told us no. Not yet. Lord, we thank you. For your goodness. And your mercies. Lord, we thank you. For giving us this day. Lord we thank you. That you are good. We thank you Jesus. For your goodness and your mercies towards us. Heavenly Father we tell you thanks. You told us no. Not yet. You told us to wait. You told us that we should wait on you Lord. And we thank you for giving, the word, giving us the word no. No is a very powerful answer. Many of us are not able to use the word no. But today, Lord God, we are asking you to give us strength. To allow our yes to be a yes. And our nay to be a nay. Give us the strength, O oh God, to resist temptation. O oh God, we are asking you today. And every dream, every bad dream that showed up, that came to us, Lord God, today we ask you to fix it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, your people are here. They have gathered to hear from you. Not from me, but from you. And Lord God, I ask you to speak. I put my flesh under subjection today, Lord God. Raise up my spirit, man. Manifest yourself, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Take charge, take over, and let your will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, even now, oh God, I cover myself in the blood. 
I cover myself in your blood. Oh Jesus, I cover myself in the blood. Let your will be done. Have your way, Holy Spirit. I decree and I declare it is well with this seven day of fasting. Oh Lord, we're asking you to give us strength throughout this day, Lord God. You said weeping only endure for a night and joy will come in the morning. And therefore, Daddy, we ask you to wipe our tears. We roll our burdens to you. We roll our tears unto you. We declare, O oh God, that we love you, Jesus. And we thank you for daily bread. We thank you for new mercies. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity that we can come into your presence and repent of our sins and our wicked ways, our sinful ways. Oh God, we're asking for forgiveness. Even if we have not done it once, it was purpose in our heart. We ask you to forgive us. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Mighty God. And every evil action of the enemy that is coming up against us, we're asking your daddy Jesus to send it back. According to the word of God, the Bible said that Jesus said, Simon, Simon, the devil wants to sift you. And Lord God, the enemy is trying to sift us like wheat. We're asking you for your help. Oh God, today we ask you to provide leaders for El Shaddai in Jamaica. My God, today we ask you that in Jesus to give us leaders in El Shaddai. To purify them, oh God. To sanctify them, oh God. To wash them, oh God. To cleanse them in the name of Jesus Christ. The people that you have selected for the ministry. In Jamaica, mighty God, we are asking you to fix them. Fix their heart. Let it not be about money, oh God. Let your will be done in their life. Lord, I ask you to bless them. Lord, I ask you to bless them, oh God. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to visit each and every one of them who you have selected today. And let the Spirit of the Lord fall upon them. Oh Jesus. Wash their hands, Lord God. Wash their feet, Lord God. Cleanse them, Abado Kosaya, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. The ones that you have selected to lead, oh Jesus. Purify them, oh God. Change their story. Do it for them in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare it done, Matata. Turn it around for their good. Strengthen them against temptation, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, O God. Fill them up, O God. Bread of heaven, feed them until they want no more. Oh, Jesus, let them lead from the front and not from the back. Oh, that echo, Roboko, Soto, Rabako, Shakataya. Lebereko, Soto, Baku, Shekatara. Fix the leaders, oh, Jesus. Fix the mighty God. Fix the elect that you have elected. In the name of Jesus Christ. Allow them to humble themselves, O oh God, before you. Madada Koshika Sato. Sataya. Remove sickness from their life, Lord God. As they serve you, O oh God. Deliver them, Mati Koshoro Boboko Sato. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
purify the mighty God. Oh Lord, we're asking you to sort out their children. In the name of Jesus Christ, fix the children, oh God of El Shaddai. Somebody open your mouth and declare, fix the children of El Shaddai. Humble them, O God, so they can be risen up in the name of Jesus. Humble them, Lord, so they can be exalted. Jesus. Have your way, O God. Have thine own way, O God. Today we draw souls from the east. Today we draw souls from the west. Today we draw souls from the north. Today we draw souls from the south. Lord, let your divine will be done. Holy Spirit, we're asking you to go before us and have your way in El Shaddai. And let your will be done according to your word. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Take the glory, Lord God. Take all the glory out of the ministry. My God, we refuse to take your glory. And therefore, Lord, we are asking you to take your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Remove sickness, Lord God. Bless their feet. Give them hinds feet, Lord God. So they can run the race that is set before them. Looking unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Wrap them up, Daddy Jesus. Give them the strength to put on the whole armor of God. Let them not be fake, O oh God. Slay the flesh right now, Holy Spirit. Rise up their spirit, man, so they can perform your work. Oh, we slaughter the plans of the enemy today. We shut down every plans of the enemy today. We shut down every plans of the enemy today. We shut down every plans of the enemy today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even now, Daddy. Even now, oh God. I present myself before you. Without spot and wrinkle. In the name of Jesus, I commit this platform in your hands. I commit my soul in your hands. Use me to your glory. And have your way. Search me, O oh God. Search me, O oh God. Judge me, Lord, according to my righteousness. Judge me, Daddy Jesus. Ha, oko sato ritibika sataya. Judge me, O God. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hebaroko saya. I katarabaro ko soto ko shi kataraba ma baba bobo ko sataya. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Seiko shisi tiribi kasato. Ma babaro kosoto. Today I wish we were in church. I hear the Lord said deliverance has come to El Shaddai. The Spirit of the Lord is saying deliverance has come to El Shaddai. Oh Jesus. Say, ay, 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 Sister Lorraine White, you're asking for prayer for your brother. And I lift him before God. I encourage you. This is what God is telling me to tell you to be obedient. Sister Lorraine White. Everybody here know by now that the prophetic is here. 
And uh, yesterday, the Lord was using me to speak to a, a young woman on the platform. She's one of us. And last night, she sent me a message. She sent me a message. She said, Rev, I wanted to call you, but I know you are on fasting. Rev, you said today everything going on around me doesn't make sense. It's true. It's been rough for me the past few weeks. But I know it's my breakthrough coming and I have to go through it. People of God, when the Lord speak to you. And you know it's true. React to it. Because we all know that the Holy Spirit don't lie. I cannot lie. God will charge me. God will beat me. And I don't want God to beat me. I received too much beatings in the past. She said, Rev, I know. But I don't call you because I know you're fasting. That was the Lord speaking to her yesterday. Her life don't make sense. So today we lift up everyone here that is going through hardship. If you're not going through hardship, the devil is with you. You're a part of his plan. If you are a child of God and you are on this fasting and you are not facing hardship, you are the devil himself. If you are a believer and you are fasting, and the devil is attacking you. It means that you are doing something good. Sister Lorraine. I don't know what it is. But the Lord said I should tell her be obedient. Amen. As much as I love you guys. I got to tell you the truth. You have to be obedient. And whatever you are doing, if you know it's not of God, don't tell me. Because God already show me. I might not say anything to save embarrassment. It's embarrassing when grown folks get caught. <laughs> it is. So tomorrow we're having service in East Hartford, 100 East River Drive, right there at the Holiday Inn in the conference room. It is spacious. Come on down and pray with us. Amen. Hallelujah. I only have one scripture today. This is my sermon. Nothing is written there. God only gave me one scripture. Glory to God. Because today. We are praying. For those people that God is selecting. To work in the ministry. In Jamaica. We know that there are some. Serious believers there. But we also know because of the struggle. That some of them are facing. They cannot function wholeheartedly. When it comes to God's business. Because some people put their, 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 their situation before the ministry. So they'll put their situation before what, what they're supposed to do. They can't function. Because their problems, they were raised to deal with their problems different. So we are asking God, the leaders, not one, not two, not three. One person cannot run church. Even if we are streaming live from here to there, we still need leaders. There are some... <laughs> this woman of God, you need somebody to really hold you and pour some holy water on you. <laughs> oh Jesus you're asking for prayers you need to find a way to Connecticut tomorrow so we can pray with you we can't pray for you 
we can pray with you amen so it would be my pleasure if you round up your friends and show up tomorrow at church so we can pray with you not for you hallelujah there are some things that needed to be done amen so we give God honor and praise some people are set apart already God already set them apart and so they have a different kind of problems and I'm gonna show you why God already set some people apart for service and their issues are not regular hey Jesus turn your Bible with me to the book of Luke chapter 22 From the, <laughs> all my life I have been faithful. All my life I have been so, so good. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Sing the song. Sing the song. You have led me to the fire, darkest night. You have flows like no other. I know you, you as, as a father. father. I know you, you as, as a friend. friend. Jesus. Now with me, with the goodness of God. Sing the song like you know it. <coughs> All my life, for all my life, you have been faithful. You have been faithful. He will never let you down. All, all my life, you have been, been so, so good. good. With, With every breath that I am, I will pray of the goodness of God. All my life. All my life, All my life you have sing the song, open up your mouth and sing the song, open up your vocal cords and use All them. My life you have been so, so good with every breath that I have taken. Oh, I will sing of, of the, the goodness of God. of God. Hallelujah. Oh, I will sing. Yes. Of, of the, the goodness, goodness of God. God. Hey! Hey, 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 yeah! Jesus. He said, I will never let you down. He said, I will never leave you. Hallelujah! Jesus. Hey Jesus, all my life you have been faithful, all my life you have been so, so good, with every breath that I have taken, oh I will sing Jesus. of the goodness of God. Thank you, Jesus. Of the, the goodness of God. Thank you, Jesus. All my life. Oh, Jesus. You are the lily of the valley. Oh, Jesus. You are the brightest morning star. Oh, Jesus, you are the fairest of ten thousand. Call you, Jesus, the master of it all. Amen. Oh, Jesus, you are the healing of the valley. Sing the song. Oh, Jesus, you are the fairest of ten thousand. 
This is why I have to get rough with Brother Devon when he don't want to sing. Hey, this is why I get rough on him because God placed something in him, and he have to burn it out. I pray today that you burn out whatever is inside of you for the Lord to use it to His glory, Jesus. <laughs> mighty God hey Jesus pray for him people of God pray for brother Devon when you're praying remember him in your prayers mm -hmm. because if you don't use it for the Lord the devil will rob him. The songwriter said, if you have a talent, use it for the Lord. If you do not use it, you will surely lose it. Jesus. God bless you, Brother Devon. May he use you even more. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I am about to go into the word, I don't know if that is your real name. Carmen Fasta. I don't know you. Maybe you know about the ministry. Maybe somebody introduce you. But the Lord said, those who have been chasing you, they have to stop. Come and faster. I see you. And in the realms of the Spirit, the Lord said, you have been running because they are chasing you, spiritually chasing you, chasing you down. But those who have been chasing you, they are about to stop because you're tired. Ah, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Mm. Hey. What is this? Come and faster. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying. Them that have been chasing you. Them that have been chasing you. You said you're. The Lord said you are tired. Them that have been chasing you. The Lord said you have been chasing you. you Oh, you move from place to place to place in the realms of the spirit. I see you moving and you are tired. But one thing I hear the Lord said. They are about to stop. They are about to retire. People of God, I encourage you to be in the spirit. Be in the spirit. Them that have been chasing. Hey, koshay, bo, kosataya, them that have been chasing you. They have been chasing you. You have been running and now you are tired. Them that have been chasing you. They are about to stop. Because today, I put a stop order. Effective immediately to them that have been chasing you down. Nothing works for you. Nothing works out. It doesn't matter what you try. It don't work out. Even if you keep quiet and you try to do things in secret, it still don't work because spiritually they have been chasing you. And this moment we declare, we demand a stop order and put an end to that. In the name of Jesus Christ, we stop them. Somebody say we stop them. Hey, we set the fire of God. We set the fire of God. We set the fire of God to stop them. I see you in the spirit. You're running like a dog chasing you. A big old dog. And you're running out of breath. But I pray today for your organs, your internal organs. Hallelujah. You see, I don't know if it's caused by stress, but there are some things happening to you and it affects your breathing. But today we decree and we declare divine healing in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, I wish I was in church today. Hey, Yabakuta, Rabako, Shodobo, Mandaraka Sataya. We said fire to them that have been chasing you. In the name of Jesus. I, I, I don't know you. 
So I'm just going to address you as Lady Carmen. I don't know you. But you're not breathing. You don't breathe properly. There are some things going on on your inside. You're not breathing properly. This is what the Lord is telling me about you. But today we pray that divine healing will begin as I speak the word of God. Hey, Kashaya. You see, this is the problem. People don't want to go to church anymore. They want to go online. We are here online to meet, but we have a place that we meet called church where you can come and be delivered. It's not for sale. It's not, we're not charging you anything. I declare over your life right now, it will be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus. Nothing that you do work out. Even if you try to do it in secret, it don't work out. Nothing works. But today I pray that there'll be a change in your story. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is done. Ha. Huh. People of God, let me tell you something. You have to be careful who you meet on the street. And said it is of God. Because the plan of the enemy. The enemy is like a roaring lion. Roaming to see who he can destroy. And many times we pick up some people on the street and we pick up garbage. Once they leave us, our life become a living hell. Because they came to destroy their own mission. The devil used them. They're crafty. They look nice, they smell nice, and they talk nice. But they are on a mission to destroy you. Wait on the Lord. Lady Carmen, wait on the Lord. The Lord said, it is finished. Wait on him. So he'll do the rest. Amen. Hallelujah. You said it's true. Yes, it's true. Nothing works for you. You're tired. But there is a change in the atmosphere. Somebody declare my change has arrived. Hey! Jesus. Many of us, we, we, got, we get impatient. We say God is taking too long. So we're trying to help ourselves. We're trying to help God. And it don't work. We have to go back to the drawing board and start over. Somebody help me to magnify God. Debbie Eversley, I'm coming to you. I hear the Lord said that there is a ministry that you sowed in in Trinidad. Where you come from. Ah, yeah, Jesus. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were not clean. I don't know who it is. There is a ministry in Trinidad. You saw in that ministry. And they did not. <laughs> they don't have pure intention towards you. I don't know who, whose church it is, but you have sold into a ministry, dear. Let me tell you, they hold you. But today I release you. Jesus. <laughs> I snatch you out of the hands of the enemy. Debbie Eversley. You, 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 you said that you were supporting them. You, I don't know who. You didn't tell me this. This is what the Lord is telling me about you. It's in Trinidad. In your country where you were born. You sowed in the ministry. 
and they hold you. They are holding on to you. Now, this has nothing to do with me because I don't know what church or what ministry you were a part of that you connect yourself. You have connected yourself to them. And they are not clean. You said yes. Yeah, the Lord is showing me, and this is why you are bound because it's your own people have you bound you see how long the Lord take to release this word hear, hear thee the word of God I release you from the palms of the enemy you sowed in their ministry you sowed and you sowed and you sowed and they abhold on to you but today it's coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ I release you I snap it makes you bitter. It makes you bitter. The thing makes you bitter because you're so in them. It's a church. You're so in it and they hold you. Your own people. Nobody in America is not responsible for what's happening. It's coming from there. And therefore, if you're not careful, pay attention. Most of the people that are connected to you are from your country. And they are not in your favor either. But today I declare over you a release, a divine release in the name of Jesus. I don't know how much, I don't care how much, but today I stop it. Today I cut it off. In the, I cut off that connection. I come across to you. I cut off that connection in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cut that connection. I cut that card. I cut off that relationship. They're not clean. You are like a, you, you, you like you're supporting a child. It's like a child support. And it is your own people back home. But today, I remember the word of God in the book of Kings Elijah said if I be a man of God then let fire come down and destroy them today we chop off that relationship in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let me tell you this your own can sell you out if you study the history of Africa, Africans were not sold by foreigners. African was sold into slavery by other Africans. The thing makes you bitter. Your own people working against you. And it's like they are children getting child support. But today I cut that card. I cut that. You will be free in this country to move around and do whatever you desire to do. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it is done. Africans, I'm sharing something here today. Africans don't really care much for their own. They will support their ministry, but they don't really care much for their own. Why? Because it was their own people who sold them into slavery. It was not strangers. It was, it was their own people. Sometimes, you know, you see some people going through some things in this life. Their own bloodline is responsible for their downfall. So today I want you to open your mouth and declare. Jesus. I am free. I am free from the curses of my bloodline. From my father's side. I am free 
from the curses of my mother's side i am free from every curse from my father's side i am free in the name of jesus christ i release myself i separate myself right now every headquarters on my mother's side that is responsible for my downfall today i separate myself from them every headquarters on my father's side that is responsible for my downfall today i separate myself in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is your own people that destroy you. No stranger can destroy you. How could a stranger who don't know you from a can of paint destroy you? They have to connect with someone close to you. Ha. Huh. Jesus, my God. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus. Mantoro Boko Saya. Glory to God. Mandadeko Sato Shalara Kosaya. In the name of Jesus Christ of Afot Nazareth. Yerako Setia. I am the Lord that he let thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I send my word to heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord that he let thee jesus i am the lord your healer i send my word and heal your disease somebody go ahead and pray be in the mood of prayer be in the spirit don't come in your flesh come in the spirit be a partaker of what the lord is doing i am the lord that he let thee jesus i am the lord your healer i send my word could you could you pass my sword it's in my brown bag right by the door i need my sword the lord the spirit of the lord is here with warring angels Hallelujah. It is well, it is well, it is well in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You see, God is doing this for some people who has little bit of faith so they can understand what he is doing here what god is doing here on this platform today it's for some people who don't have any faith who don't believe that the spirit of the lord can locate them and tell them about what's happening to them there was a prostitute who met jesus and he told her about every man that she laid down with and when he was done she said indeed you are the messiah and when she was done, she said, come. She ran to the city. She left her jar at the well and said to the people in the city, come and see a man who tell me everything about. Somebody said, I can feel it, children. It is true. The spirit of the Lord is here. We can't fast and pray like this and God don't show up. We don't serve dead God. We don't serve dead God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ha. Huh. <sniffs> Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hey. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus. Hmm. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Jesus. So, Sister Pauline Christy Cook, I don't know you. I don't know you. But I hear the Lord said to tell her that the month of February, He is going to surprise you. One thing I'm asking you to do, when the Lord surprises you in February, come back to this platform to testify. Amen? <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Mm, Jesus. Some things, I hear the Lord said, some things were taken from you. Pauline. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. I hear the Lord said some things were taken from you. <laughs> Pauline Cook. Christy Cook. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying some something was taken from you. And ever since then, your life is not the same. I don't know what it is. The Lord didn't show me what it is. You said yes. <laughs> ah, I heard the Lord said, ever since this, was, this thing was taken from you, you have not been the same. I'm encouraging you. Eat food that won't mess with your blood sugar. No. This is God speaking to you because only you know what this means. They killed my sister and took my niece. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Sata. Jesus. The Lord said something was taken from you and you have not been the same. And you're saying that they killed your sister and they took your niece. Jesus. Somebody help me bless God. I feel chills in my every part of my body. Every part of my body. Somebody help me worship God. Jesus. I don't know this lady. But the lady said, God said something was taken from her. And she has not been the same. And she said, I did the Somebody help me bless God. Hey God, you're good. You are God from beginning to the end. And there's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Jesus, you are God from beginning to the end. And there's no place for argument. You are God. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 Jesus, sing the song. Yes, Jesus. Hey, and there's no place there's no place for argument we don't negotiate we don't collaborate Jesus Hey, yes, you Jesus, are, you are God. oh, you are God. Hey, everything written about you is great. 
Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing. No man can take God's glory. Not even I. We are nothing without him. The woman said, you call yourself Apostle Tizra something, something, something. <laughs> Pay attention. You, you, you call yourself Apostle. But I hear the Lord said I should tell you. Pay attention. Apostle Tiza Lucas. So I presume you have an African name. So I guess you, you're from back there. I hear the spirit of the Lord said. Pay attention. They're, they're going to attack your ministry. They are Babeko Soto. Jesus. Ha 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 ha. They are going to attack whatever ministry you are calling yourself an apostle of. If it's online or it's an actual building. The Spirit of the Lord said it's going to be attacked. And if you're not careful, they are going to attack you physically. They are going to attack you physically. You are young, but God said you are an old soul. They are going to attack you. They are going to accuse you of witchcraft. Hey, Jesus, look at God. You said it's true. <laughs> the Spirit of the Lord said they are going to uh, accuse you. They are not only going to attack you, they are going to accuse you of witchcraft. And this is deep because I'm in Africa. Somebody better lift me up in prayer right now. Somebody better about to Koshaya. Lift me up in prayer right now because I'm in Africa. And I'm in a serious place. My God. You call yourself a pastor. I don't know. But God said whatever ministry that you connect yourself to as an apostle, whether if it's yours or somebody else's, you're going to be accused and you're going to be... They are going to attack you. They are going to attack you physically. And they are going to accuse you of being a witch or a wizard or a witchcraft. Somebody better cover me right now in the blood of Jesus Christ. You don't have to write anything because they will the, 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 the system is changed up now to the, to block you. So just cover me in the cover me just like cover her, Lord. Cover me up. I hear the Lord said, He hide me for such a time as this. You call yourself an apostle. But the people don't like you. Your own people don't like you. They are going to accuse you of witchcraft. And they are going to attack you physically. Be careful. But today. I cover you in the blood of Jesus Christ. As I raise this sword. I declare blood coverage. Over you. It is done. You see, you have done some things that you're not proud of. I'm talking to Apostle. You have done some things that you are not proud of. But I hear the Lord said, He forgave you. Hey, ha, Apostle, the Spirit of the Lord said, there were some things, transactions, took place. You're not even proud of it. You tried to block it from your mind. But God said he forgave you. So guess what? I'm not going into it. It's done. Amen? You said it's true. <laughs> God is here. And he brought you here today to show you that he's here. God said he brought you here today to show you that he's not only in Africa. He's in America. He's everywhere. And he has people from all over the world to talk to you. To speak in your life. My God. You said it's true. I know it's true. God don't lie. This is one of the gifts that he gave me. But I declare it's his word, not mine. He is speaking to me about you. Now back to you, Sister Pauline Christie. I pray that you will have peace. 
I pray that God will be your source. I pray that you don't go seeking anywhere to find your niece. I pray God will locate your niece and bring her home. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray you never spend another dollar trying to know anything from anyone. It is my prayer that you'll be filled with wisdom, knowledge and understanding as you seek the face of God. Hey! I decree and I declare it done. You see, God used me to speak to you to say those things so some people that are here could understand that he is here because I don't know you. I don't know apostle. Hi, Jesus. It is well. It is well. It is is well in the name of Jesus. You said yes. I know it's true. Listen to me, Sister Pauline Christie Cook. Every word that the Lord said to me about you, it's true. And I can only give you a portion of it. The rest, I will leave it at the cross for God to deal with it. Don't go anywhere else. Don't go seeking for anybody to tell you anything. God Almighty himself will do it for you. Amen. And you shall have your peace. You shall have your peace. Somebody go ahead and share this message. You shall have your peace. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You shall have your peace. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You kushinda kata rabababa. Rondo bodo kosodobo kosata. Ia rabebe yareli kusata. Ia bere kosodobo kosoto. Madididi kisoto robo kosa. Nana mana dada di korebebe. Ia rebebe korabado kubo. Ia ma Jesus. Sada de do kosoto. Ya le be de de ko soto she de be be ya katata ya 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 in the name of Jesus. My God. Your apostle, you're saying very true. Every word that God has gave me of you and everyone here is true. If the Spirit of the Lord is not upon me, I cannot preach. I cannot go live. Because I don't use my word. I only use the word of God. That is my weapon. To defeat the enemy and his plans. And therefore, whatever God used me to say, it is his words that he placed on my lips. Amen. Somebody share this message. I encourage you to share it. Allow the Lord to use you today. God don't lie. And he will never lose a fight. It doesn't matter who is fighting you. They will never win. Once you have decided to do the Lord's work. Once you are faithful to God. It will be well with you. Once you are doing things God's way. It will be well with you. Once you have walked into your true calling. It will be well with you. Once the Lord has set you apart for service, it will be well with you. Once you are obedient to God, it will be well with you. I decree and I declare upon this platform today, 
that it will be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is done. Amen. You see what God is doing? Huh. He's using me to pray for people that I don't know. So those of you that are here can understand that this is God speaking to you. So whoever I'm speaking to, it's it's not for them. It's for you that I didn't speak to. Hallelujah. Cover me under the blood when you pray. Cover your rev. Even if you don't like me today, cover me. Ask God to cover me. You know, because he's sending me to places in restricted area. I know you have ever gone to some place and you see some signs that don't go beyond this point. Rev has, went, has gone beyond that point and more. I've traveled. My spirit is still in Africa. I, about course I, I have traveled. And my spirit is right there still. Apostle. <laughs> I see a woman. And, and she's lighter than my complexion. She's lighter than my skin color. <laughs> Are you still here, Apostle? I, I see a lady. She's angry at you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Apostle, are you still there? There is a woman. She's light-skinned or fierce-skinned. She's a fierce-skinned woman. Yes, I, I, the Lord is showing me a woman. She's light skinned, but she's kind of upset with you. She's not pleased. What did you do? Did you? I don't know. Maybe you didn't choose her. I don't know. What, what, what's the issue here? There's a woman. She, you, 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 she's angry at you. In America, you know the lady. Why is she mad at you? Were you supposed to choose her? Oh, Jesus, what is this? I see the woman. And, and she have one of these. Prayer shawl. She have a prayer cloth. I see her. W w what happened? Was it because you didn't choose her? Something happened. I see her prayer shawl. I don't know if she used it publicly, but she have a prayer shawl. The woman have a prayer shawl. I see her. She use it when she is entering into prayer and fasting. But the woman is upset with you. I, I don't have any fancy words to... to to use to describe anything because uh, I don't sugarcoat anything. But I'm going to use English because you do English very well. Why is she upset? Something happened. <laughs> Hi, I don't have a question. I see her prayer cloth. I can see it. I see the woman, but I see her prayer cloth. Because God has showed me the woman. Don't be embarrassed. Please, we're going to fix some things here today. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> it will be well. There are some things that needs to be fixed. Yes, I know the lady. I know you know the lady. 
But why is she angry at you? There are some issues that needs to be fixed in the realms of the spirit. You have unfinished business with her. Jesus. There are some unfinished business. Settle her. You need to settle this woman. You need to settle the woman. And it will be well. Be honest with the lady. You need to settle her. God is a just God. It might seem difficult. But you have to settle her. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking your language. Settle her. She does not trust you. <laughs> so that's <laughs> oh God. You're saying the woman does not trust you. Apostle, Holy Spirit is here and he's talking to you. It is your turn to be blessed. Amen. She don't trust you. Find a way. Do a fasting. Do three days of fasting. And prayers. You need to settle this woman. Find a way. Do a fasting for three days. Brother Devon, come here, please. I'm going to say what the Lord is telling me to tell you. know I don't know this man. He's in Africa. Right. And you see what God is doing. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. The Holy Spirit said I should tell her to pay attention. Thank you. Amen. I see. I see. Hallelujah. My brother, I am on 23 days of fasting. Separate three of those days. Going forward, take three of those days and put that light-skinned woman into fasting. God will do the rest. God will do the rest. He led you here today on purpose. God is intentional. He wanted you to do this. And this is why he brought you here. Amen. Hallelujah. It is well. When the fasting is done. You will be a different man. You will be a better man. You will be a better friend. You will be a better lover, a better brother, a better uncle. You will be a better person. Amen. After your fasting is done, you'll be a better person. I, I, I see what you're saying and I understand. And I'm going to leave it right there. It is well. May the peace of the Lord be with you in your ministry and wherever you go. I decree, I decree and I declare what God is telling me in my ears. You will testify. Apostle, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that you will testify of today. And I call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, people of God, we are fasting and it's seven days. And today is the last day. Of our fasting here on social media and when I came out this morning I was saying what happened to me I almost broke the fast before I came out oh somebody share the platform and you receive it God bless them could somebody else go ahead and share so somebody else in Canada can receive it somebody in Australia share it so somebody out here in Russia can receive it somebody share it so someone else out in Ukraine can receive it somebody go ahead and share it you never know who will receive your breakthrough today share it that somebody in, in other boundaries can receive it hallelujah glory to God the Spirit of the Lord is here so I encourage you to share the broadcast. So somebody down in Israel can receive it. Somebody in Timbuktu can receive it. Somebody in Tahiti can receive it. 
290 different countries all over the world. Say, share it so people can receive it. Amen. Glory to God. My God. What a mighty God we serve. Somebody go ahead and share it. There are so many people that God wants to reach. And what God is saying here. If you are on the fasting with us today. Grab your water. Grab your crackers. Grab your bread. Grape juice. Whatever the Lord has blessed you with. Grab it so we can break bread. Hallelujah. Sister Saskia Lauder. I heard the Lord said I should tell you soon you will testify. Very soon you will testify. Very soon, Saskia Lorda, you will testify. My God. Sister Pauline Christy Cook, I, I don't know your location, but just hang on to El Shaddai prayer to offer now. Hold on to El Shaddai. For now. <laughs> Amen. You call yourself Sambat. And you said you're fasting. Continue to do your fasting. A few days out of your fasting was spoiled. <laughs> Sambat Chum. I don't know you. But you're saying that you've been on a long fasting. But what the Lord has showed me. That a few days out of your fasting. Was contaminated. Yeah. Continue. To live your life to please God. There is a reward. That will come to you. At the end. Amen. Continue to push. This is the plan of the enemy. When people are fasting. He will. He will. He will send targets after you. You know it's true. You know it's true. God told me. He said to tell you. So he wants you to know that he's showing me you. And this is why I couldn't prophesy to you. A few of the days out of that fasting was contaminated. It is well. Continue with what you're doing. Amen. Glory to God. If you are fasting with us, today is the last day. Grab your water, crackers, bread, anything you have. Even if you only have a piece of fruit to break your fast. We have been fasting with no fried food. No added sugar. It, it has not been easy. Some people will lose some weight. Some people will gain weight because they got to eat the wrong stuff based on the type of fasting that we are on. Some people will receive their testimony. After the fasting is done. Some people will. Enter into marriage. Some people will enter into new business. Business proposal will come. Some people will. Go back to school. Some people will finish school. Some people will even open schools. Some people will. Walk out in their ministry. Amen. Amen. No fry food. Nothing that is dipped in the oil to fry. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And, I, and, I, and I'm faithful this time. When I say this time, I mean that I didn't have the food that I needed. So I couldn't cheat. <laughs> I had a lot of temptations because the, the eggnog is still looking at me when I open the fridge. It's up front. <laughs> so tomorrow I can have a glass of eggnog. I like it. It's a holiday drink for me. I want to drink those things during the holiday. Hallelujah. So I encourage you. You just start. You started January 1st. God bless you. May the Lord answer your prayers. Amen. 
people of God, listen. God is faithful to his word and whatever God said, it will come to pass. God don't lie. So I encourage you to stand on his promises and stay in the spirit. Glory to God. Yes, this is why God was able to speak to you because it's where your heart is. Amen. It's not easy. It's not easy. But wherever you are, there are always fruits. You can have fruits. And fruits are good. Amen. Fruits are always the best choice. So we thank God for his goodness and his mercies over El Shaddai. And we're going to continue to pray that God will send us good leaders, great leaders to, to, to work in the, mini, in the church in Jamaica. We are building a church in Jamaica. And we're asking God to send us great leaders to, to be installed in that ministry. You know, whoever he have selected, we're praying that they will be pure, they will be clean. God will continue to, you know, rest with them and their children. And they will never lack any good thing. And some of them are looking for new places to live. Some of them are looking for job opportunities. We're asking God to provide because he is a provider. Amen. So when you pray, remember to rem rem be reminded that we are building a church in Jamaica and we are looking for people to donate into the ministry so we can have money to finish the project. The building has started and it has stopped because of the lack of funds. So what we are doing now, amen, we are collecting building fund to start the project once more. So we can finish. I, th I took a picture and I'm going to show you. I posted one. And this is what it looks like. I was there. This is Instagram. I was there last week. Jesus. Let me see if I can hold the camera better. It's too light. What's going on here? This is me sitting outside, but I can't see nothing. Can anybody see anything? There it is. That's me sitting on the outside of the church outside. This is for Facebook. Sit, sitting on the ground. There is no, no place to sit. You know, there it is. And that's it on Instagram. That's me sitting on the outside. And that's another view. It's not completed. You can look straight up through the... We don't have any roof on it yet. And... Uh, or you can go to my platform and look at... Um, I think it was January 11th. That's the day. Last Wednesday, we had a fasting service there. We are collecting... I don't know. You know what? I need to learn how to navigate these things. It's so embarrassing. I don't know. You know? I don't. It's a brother Tony. Turn on the brightness. Turn it down. I don't know how to operate these things. Hallelujah. Okay, here it is. All right, let me see now. Get a better picture. I guess this one will look. Okay, there it is. I, I tried. That's me sitting down on, this, on the foyer, which the front part the entrance i sat there on the step that's it right there or you can go like i said you can go to my page and um and look you can go to my page and look at the it's there on my plat platform <laughs> Sister Angela, the button on the side, right? I don't know anything about phone. <laughs> I know, I know. It it reminds me. It reminds me of Israel. I've never been to Israel, but when I look at the when I when I saw the first picture, Israel came to my thought. But when I finally set foot on that premises, I um it felt like I was over there in Israel. 
Why? Because it's pure. I told him, don't kill no chicken and sprinkle no blood on that place. No, nothing. It's pure. And it's built from scratch. Amen? So we, we're going to keep it that way. And anybody who tried to contaminate it with any blood, we are going to set fire to that plant. Because it will be pure. It will be a pure place, a house of salvation. Where people come and be saved. The blind came last week, Wednesday, and she was saved. A blind woman. She didn't see me. She don't she knew me back before she was blind. I don't know her. And she gave her life to the Lord. She gave us a hard time too. But I'm here to let you know. Somebody said there is a bright light over it. Amen. It is the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Ha. God is faithful. And El Shaddai will be doing great things for the Lord. We don't take God's glory. It's not about us. It's the Lord's church. You know, we thank God that we have a place. If anyone go to Jamaica, they have a place to go to church. Some people go down there and taking care of business and they get stuck based on the nature of the business. Yes, they have a place to go and pray. That's what it's all about. Amen. So we don't only celebrate Jesus Christ Christmas time and Easter time. No. We celebrate him throughout the year. People of God, grab your water and your crackers and let us talk to God. Whatever you have. Crackers, bread, communion wine. Yes, I'm saying it. Communion wine. There is a thing called communion wine when when we went to the vineyard in in italy the ones the one that we had the tour they make wine for the pope they make that wine for the pope so yes there is a thing you know sometimes we hear things and we don't have proof there is proof the 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 it, i was live and doing it the the vineyard that we went to in Italy. Those people make communion wine for the Pope. Amen. Let us pray over this. And thank God for his goodness and his mercies. Let us bring it before God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we come before you and we ask you, Lord God, to breathe afresh upon this element. It's day seven of our fasting, and Lord, have your way. Let your divine will be done. Breathe afresh upon it. Remember the people that you have called out in Jamaica for ministry. Many of them are going wayward. Lord, I ask you to pull them closer to you. And the ones that you're about to select. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. To breathe fresh upon them. That they may do your work in boldness. Without fear. Without pride. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, even now I ask you. To bless El Shaddai members all over the world. Bless the people that you are sending. Bless those that will stretch forth their hands to bless us financially to finish the projects that's ahead of us. Bless, bless them, Lord God, that they can be a blessing to many. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. According to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 24. The night before Jesus Christ was betrayed, he broke bread with his disciples. And he gave thanks. The Bible said, and when he finished giving thanks, he broke, he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Do it in remembrance of me. Go ahead and eat.
verse 25 remind us it says and after the same manner he pick up the cup he said this cup is the new testament in my blood drink as often as you do it do it in remembrance of me go ahead and drink some of us are excited to go and eat because today is the last day of the fasting whatever you're doing please i beseech you by the mercies of god to do it in moderation whatever you're going to eat please don't overeat do it to the glory of god amen this has been seven days of prayer and fasting many of you after everything is over and done starting monday you will see different doors start to open for you amen no sugar no fried food people of god we need your help. We have to pay for everything. Tomorrow we have service. And um, some changes will be made. Maybe the end of February. But I want to share this. Tomorrow we will have service at 100 East River Drive. East Hartford, Connecticut. Yours truly will be there. You are invited you are cordially invited to church church service begins at 10. amen god only showing you a few little things on social media what he can do i don't do anything god is doing what he's doing but i encourage you to come to church stop making up excuses amen come to church and when you come, be in the spirit. Come with a pure heart so the Lord can speak to you. Come and pray with us. It is time for your offering. It is time for your offering. 860-634-8557. It is time for your offering. You can use Zelle, PayPal, or Cash App. It is time for your offering. People of God, remember your covenant partnership prayers. You need to pray. Pray over your covenant prayers. Pray over your prayer requests. Pray. You already receive it, so pray. And remember your charity donations. I might not be saying much about it because I'm focused on the building. We, we, we need to finish the building. Amen. So I encourage you, glory to God, to focus on your assignment. Glory to God. And like I said, my little brother O'Neill out there in Canada, I am inviting you to church. Either you want to visit church in America or you want to visit in Jamaica. But we will be having a serious revival on the 26th the 27th and the 28th of may of this year 2023 hallelujah we will be there the doors will be open for the public even if the building is not completed we will be in it it's long awaited and we will be there it doesn't matter where you are. I encourage you to start looking. Amen. Start looking at tickets. And if you can't go send your children. Yes. We don't have any form of housing. So we will be staying in hotels and here B&B. 
which is like five minutes away from where the church will be so you won't be late for church amen so i encourage you to participate in this movement we have been doing this online now it's time for you to see my face glory to god once again to support the ministry the number is 860-634-8557 zell paypal cash app you if you don't have any of those you can contact us on whatsapp at the same number and we will give you an information that you can use hallelujah the church is in saint catherine jamaica old arbor bay to be exact in a little this in a little street called Bodo. old arbor bay saint catherine you don't don't we will have a flyer with all the information so you won't be able to miss it and every taxi driver in the community knows the area it's not hidden amen you won't get lost you cannot get lost in that community while we are still having service in East Hartford Connecticut at 100 East River Drive East Hartford Connecticut so you there's there are no excuses you are all invited if you can't make it send your children if you cannot make it donate to the cause we need your help amen i pray that the lord will bless every hand that will be stretched forth to be a blessing to the ministry in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every hand we will be having baptism. If you need to get baptized, just give us that information. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's where your mother is from. I don't like to talk to you. I don't like to talk to you. Every time I talk to you, you have something to say. Hey, for me to go and check my own family. <laughs> I don't like to talk to you, Sister Jackie. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Amen. It is well. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. People have got to listen. My time is up. I have to go. I have to be in church tomorrow. So I'm going to get some things done and prepare for tomorrow's service we will be in church we will be live but it would be a wonderful thing if you could surprise us one sunday amen god bless you all my time is up i gotta go remember stay prayerful be in the spirit glory to god and receive what the lord has for you amen